All right, one more time. Oh, that's so gnarly. <laughs> Okay, so today's goal, there's been like 10 new kaiju added to this game. Remarkable, ridiculous, amazing kaiju. And today we're gonna unlock every single one. First, we go hunt down the badges. And to do that, we're gonna need Cosmic Destroyer. This must be my little buddy, GMK. He's going to be our guide today. Oh, he looks freaking magnificent. He's gonna guide us to the buried treasure. I could look around for sure, but I gotta be at the gym in an hour. This guy is right here. I love this. My little, my little, I don't know. I don't know what to call him. <laughs> my Godzilla guide. Damn it, that's perfect. My Godzilla guide. All right, which one's this in the flesh? Nice. And the other's just over here. We're in Hollow Earth, if anyone like wonders where we're finding these. This game is so freaking epic for adding a Hollow Earth. Right there, this skull. Look at it, just beautifully concealed in the side of this mountain. This game's really good at hiding badges. Like they're always kind of visible. They're found in locations you'd predict them, but still kind of hard to find. Sweet, we got Doppelganger SOS Godzilla. We still have to wait for lightning to fall from the sky to get this guy right here, but let's check out this individual. Damn, it's dark outside. It's so much harder to see when it's dark. Whoa. The little sparky effects coming out of there. All right, let's get a look at this beam. Oh, that's legit, dude. That's beautiful right there. Same with that freaking noise, that like power up noise as the atomic breath kicks in. That's what it's all about. Oh, that's special. Whoa! Oh, that was the most beautiful way to enter a body of water I've ever seen. Oop, oop, oop. Lightning fell. Wow, look at that badge. That's so cool, dude. That's gotta be the coolest way to make a badge appear. Like just drops this lightning and it just stays there as a ball of lightning on the floor. That's, that's one of the, oh my God, that fighter jet is bringing the heat. Wow, it's glorious. Can only one person get it per? Oh no, it's just like they're existing. Damn, it would have been funny if I could take it from other people also. Such a pretty Godzilla. Pretty ugly. No, I'm just kidding. It's very pretty. I just am a child, evidently. We gotta check out more octopuses throughout this video. So I'm gonna be randomly switching kaiju a lot. It's an important part of the, ooh, dude, that's crazy. <laughs> It's nice this game doesn't neglect the Meyer squids from Kong Skull Island, you know? They still get some respect around here. Actually, we're trying to fight Dagon right now, the boss battle to unlock some stuff. So I'm gonna switch to Destroyer because this guy's not doing anything. Now he's the Destroyer guide. All in all, he's a pretty dang good guide. Okay, so here's for the squid, obviously, because it just looks like that giant. That's the one I want to check out, dude. But first we must wait for the boss battle. I feel like the second I switch to check out other stuff, the boss is gonna spawn for sure. Unfortunately, I'm being hunted by some people in chat right now. These servers are small, dude. It's hard to blend in. Okay, this giant turd has spawned in uh, Hollow Earth. If he's not on Skull Island, he's in Hollow Earth. Okay, there it is, dude. There's Dagon. So it's just like the Kong boss battle. You just gotta kill this dude to unlock Dagon, I suppose. Which one is he, though? Okay, he's clearly that one, because that one just shot at me. Okay, let's get it on, dude. They definitely nerfed how much damage beams do from far away because my other beam didn't even phase him. Oh my God. Dude, look at this army descending down upon him of destroyers and Kongs and Godzillas. Everyone's just coming down. This is crazy. Dude, he's getting destroyed right now. What a beautiful combination of Kaiju. I feel so like privileged just kind of staying up here getting to shoot beams at him, but it's my biggest use and contribution to this. Plus this beam does so much damage to me every time I do it, but it does so much damage to him too. I'm so weak though. I'm so weak and it takes so long to respawn in Hollow Earth. It's such a pain having to respawn. All right, where is he? The Kongs down there focusing their melee. They're such good troops. They're doing their part. Oh, I'm so weak though. He's like an earthbender. These boulders that come out of the ground. Oh my god. Woof! Oh man! The sheer power coming off of that thing. There's so many kaiju gathered up into this. Almost an emotional experience, really. I'm just gonna keep standing back and shooting. I'm so weak. He's gonna kill me and then I'm gonna respawn. Oh god! It's gonna take me too long to respawn and I won't get points for killing it. He's focused there. It's so ridiculous. The boulders just spawn out of thin air. Like you don't even have to be on the ground to get bouldered. Absolute nonsense. He seems to be coming towards me specifically. Oh, there he goes. Now he's doing his thing. Look it up. Oh! <laughs> That's funny. He keeps, whenever he walks towards me, I get so nervous. Oh, 
crap, he just got so much closer to me. No, I'm stuck. I can't go anywhere. Oh my god. I'm in the danger zone. I'm so in the freaking danger zone. Dude, fly. Fly, you stupid crab. There we go. I gotta get back. I got... Oh my god. If I didn't just get out of the way out of that, that would have been my life right there. That would have been kaputs. Descend, Kaiju. Descend upon him. He's too focused on me right now. Oh, uh, thank god. Okay, I can use a beam, but it's risky business. I gotta keep doing my part. No matter what, he's so weak. I think I might just... Oh, God, I'm like two shots from death. He's so weak, though. We can finish this. I have 200 health on the brink. Finish it! Oh, my God. Epic. Epic ending. Well done, everybody. Well done. Well done, everybody in chat. Oh, look at his smoldering corpse. We are incredible. These apes are being really cool. They wanted to be in a video, so there they are. They helped out a bunch. Well, it's him and his buddy. Where's... I don't know. <laughs> I think the other one died. Either way, though, we've freaking done it. I'm so proud of us. Even though there's so many kaiju here, it should have been easy. Still! Also, this guy. This guy's a cool fella also. Dude, two other void destroyers? I've never seen anyone else as cool as I am before. It's super rare to run into someone as pretty as I am. <laughs> Oh, sweet. We got this guy from the lightning. Nice. We checked him out in the last video, though. I don't know if we should look at him right now. We got this, the freaking Rotten Veil octopus, finally. And we have Dagon right here. Actually, I need more money. Holy crap. This economy is ridiculous. Oh, what? Oh, we got to buy this one first. For <laughs> okay, that's my bad. I wasn't reading it. I was speed reading through it. You know, when you have like ADD or anxiety or you're just anxious and you only read like every fifth word, you don't read. <laughs> I feel like a goober. Okay, so Dagon's this one, right? And then G14 is that one, which I'll unlock too, just because I'm fancy as hell. But this, this is the one Dagon. Dagon is a member of the Godzilla species that first appears as a skeletal corpse in the 2014 film Godzilla. And here in his almighty glory is Dagon. What's the difference between Dagon and Godzilla, you might ask? About like 50 feet. <laughs> like they're, they're pretty much the same. It's just his dorsal spikes aren't nearly as like spiky. They're not nearly as grown out since it's like a good couple thousand years younger. Are its moves any different? I wouldn't think so. I wouldn't think it has different karate than any other Godzilla species, right? Like, yeah. Some tail wax, some charging. I like what I'm seeing. Is there a special? Okay, here's the beam. Oh, that's animated as hell, dude. That's so animated. Holy crap. I don't think there is a special. It's confusing because even if there isn't, it'll show a special button. Okay, here's G14, Godzilla 2014 in the Arctic where you can't see anything. It's so freaking dark in the Arctic somehow. There's like a blizzard going on. What's going on up there? It's like legendary Pokemon. Rosa. Yeah, it's the same... Uh... It's the same Atomic Breath animation, but man, is it a cool one. It should have all the same moves. Yeah, charge, tail smack, and a, a hit with the face. Now, this is what was true. When I, when I went to the menu with Dagon, I think G14 is going to do the same thing. They're like dorsal spikes explode, and blue smoke comes out, just like what happens in the comics. Yeah, like this exactly. That's what Muso Prime does to Godzilla. When it roars and it shatters his back. Now, where is my octopus? Where is... Oh, crap. We gotta check this one out, too. We just... We just gotta. Oh, dude, it is a giant ammonite. Ammonite? It's, it's the word I never necessarily learned how to say. Dude, this thing is legit. That is sweet. Especially when you get a, like... Whoa, dude, it stands up. Oh, my God, it's teeth. Did you guys see its teeth? Holy crap. All right, one more time. Oh, that's so gnarly. <laughs> These guys all gathered around to look at my sweet squid skin squid squills. Skin squills? Squid skills. Damn. And now prepare to get farted on. <laughs> Disgusting, ain't it? Yeah, there's ink all over the floor now. Yeah, it stings, don't it? Yeah, it's gross, huh? <laughs> I just crapped all over their feet. The Rotten Veil Octopus. That's so fam- Is that from crap? What's that from? It sounds so stinking familiar, but I can't remember. But it sounds so familiar. Whoa! Look at this little monster. This is a beast. Oh, man, when it stands up and you see its teeth. This is a horrifying kaiju. These kaiju look so big and epic from down here. But little do they know, I can crap my pants. Get them! <laughs> Enjoy that. Stings, don't it? God, they do so much more damage than I do. Ah! <laughs> the world is lifting. Oh, once they get in the water, though, it's over. That's when we really become the squid that we truly are. 
These things should move in the water. Not an issue in the world. This new swimming animation is crazy. I've never felt more like, like a squid, I suppose. <laughs> I've been keep doing this all day, bro. Turning into a spider monster and spitting venom out, good Lord. And then every time people gather around me to look at how amazing I am, I defecate them on them. It's the perfect day. Oh, I flew out of my poop. <laughs> but once I get to the water, it's over, man. Never see me again in a bajillion years. See you later, nerds. Oh, shame. They all look so big and epic. This game is so beautiful and theatric and gorgeous. And Zillas have no manners. You crap on them once and then suddenly you crapped on them. This was so awesome. I'm gonna do events for this game from now on for sure. So join my Discord if you wanna be in them. Leave a like, subscribe here too, and I'll see you next time.